Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Alex, your reality here. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little something that comes very becomes very important when trying to do AI racing, and that is talent files. Talent files are a brilliant way to mimic performance. Uh, just by changing a driver's talent, you can make them seconds faster or slower than another driver. And today I'm going to be showing you how. So we have a multiplayer mod, MP, and that means that it is equal. The cars have the same performance, whether that be an Arrows or a Ferrari. As I, well, I don't need to prove it, just take my word for it. You'll see it a little later. However, what if you don't want it to be equal? What if you want the AI to be realistic? Well, I'm going to show you how. So, you can see in the game data here, we just have sounds and vehicles. Two important files, there isn't another important one. And we're going to create a new folder now called Talent. And a Talent folder, like so, albeit empty now, will house RCD files. RCD files are what uh, each driver has and that dictates what speed they are. Well, you just added a file here then. What are you going to do with it? Right, we go back to the RFM and you're going to pick out the actual RFM here. And it will look something like this. It has a lot, a lot of information. And all of that is very important for the mod. But what we're going to be looking at is right here. Your config overrides. And this is going to tell the mod where to look for the talent. Uh, I have another uh, little note here. And we have this. Your driver's DA DIR. And it's telling the mod where to look for our talent. So in this case, I've written it to say game data, look in the talent folder, and then look F1 underscore GP team. What we're going to do with this is copy it and paste it in as one of our config overrides. We can then save. Uh, we don't need this anymore either. And that is now part of the RFM, as you can see, it's right there. What we can now do is go into the talent folder and we're going to add one file, uh, a folder called F1 GP team. And that is the exact same as what we just put in the RFM. So we're telling the mod where in the folder we're going to be looking. Right, I'm going to stop now and quickly make some RCD files for the drivers. Uh, I'll be back in a second. So I've quickly written up some RCD files. As you can see by type, they're RCDs, uh, but they're pretty much just notepad. Uh, so we have Michael Schumacher here uh, with 50 on most of his stats, apart from crash and recovery. Uh, crash basically means the probability that this driver will crash in the race and recovery is another probability of the amount of times they will recover from a crash. Uh, I've done the same for Ricardo Rosset, but his stats are zero instead of 50 and his recovery is slightly lower. But what you want, what you want to be uh, looking for in this is the other stats, especially speed. Speed is pretty much the one that dictates performance. Anyway, we're going to copy both of these. We're going to go into game data in our test folder. And we're going to paste these two drivers, these two driver talent files, into the talent directory. What we can then do is go back to here and simply patch it with the talent and stuff that I've put on the mod and I can put it onto my R-Factor and show you it in action, show you that this works.
So I'm going to quickly add it to my R factor folder, which is as followed. I just have a shortcut because it's, you know, a little easier. You're going to just drag, uh, not drag and drop in this case, because I actually want to keep my folder. We're just going to, you know, copy and then just paste it in. And it will do its thing. Uh, and it will come up in a second saying it wants to replace the instances that are the same in the folder. And you should allow it to do so. That is absolutely what you want to do. Uh, this may take a little while. Uh, I'm just going to wait until it comes up with the little notification. Um, and yeah, we'll come back in a second. Ah, here we go. So, copying 1612 items from my little test folder and most of it is the same because it is the same mod I already have the mod installed so we're now going to replace and I'll join you in a second when we're actually ready to show you this working so you join me back uh, we're at Magni Core uh, no real reason to that if I'm honest um, and I've narrowed it down so we're with the two drivers that we're testing Schumacher and Rosset and once I finish the session you're going to see the gap be quite substantial ready here we go and just like that Michael Schumacher 1 minute 22.4 Ricardo Rosset 126.8 4.4 seconds off of Schumacher and if you remember we set Schumacher to have 50 on every stat and Rosset to have zero and that shows that we've manipulated the talent to create a performance and with a bit of uh, playing around with numbers really a bit of trial and error you can create realistic performing AI and it's really not that hard as I've just proven so, thank you ever so much for watching, I hope this has been informative and let me know what you want to see next. I have a couple of ideas in mind, uh, a few of them being questions that I know are unanswered by friends and uh, yeah, just other things in general. So, thank you ever so much for watching, as I've already said. Uh, leave a like, let me know what you want me to do next and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have an awesome week. Goodbye.